Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla confirms its order rate surged after the Super Bowl. Tesla confirms new RoboTaxi without steering wheel and pedals for 2024 production. Tesla says nearly half of the vehicles it produced in Q1 equipped LFP batteries. And Tesla plans to produce Model Ys with both 4680 and 2170 cells at Gigafactory Texas this year. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has confirmed that its order rate surged following this year's Super Bowl, which featured many electric vehicle ads. These numbers show that the long-standing idea of Tesla killers doesn't work and that the automaker actually benefits greatly from other automakers investing in electric vehicles. Over the last few years, several automakers started buying airtime during the Super Bowl, which is famous for its extravagant and expensive commercials to promote their electric vehicles. This year's Super Bowl was particularly popular for EV ads. BMW had an ad about the X1. GM promoted its Ultium electric platform, which powers a series of new electric vehicles, starting with the GMC Hummer EV. Kia featured its new EV6 electric car. Hyundai, Kia's partner, also bought a Super Bowl ad to promote the Ionic 5. Polestar had an ad during the game. And EV charging station maker Wallbox also had an ad. Several of those campaigns were successful in bringing attention to electric vehicles and not just the ones featured in the ads. In the release of its Q1 2022 financial results, Tesla disclosed that its order rate surged the day after the Super Bowl 2022. The automaker didn't release any actual metrics and only focused on the increased rate, which looks about twice as high as its average rate. As Electrek revealed, Tesla's order rate surged again, just a few weeks later in March, amid increasing gas prices. Now, several of Tesla's models are listed as sold out until 2023. Moving to the next update, Tesla confirms new RoboTaxi without steering wheel and pedals for 2024 production. During the Q1 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk shared some details about Tesla's new RoboTaxi vehicle. The new vehicle won't have a steering wheel or pedals, as it will fully utilize Tesla's full self-driving software. We're also working on a new vehicle that I alluded to at the Giga Texas opening, which is a dedicated robotaxi that's highly optimized for autonomy, meaning it would not have a steering wheel or pedals, Musk said during the latest earnings call. And there are a number of innovations around it that I think are quite exciting, he added. But it's trying to achieve the lowest, fully considered, cost per mile, cost per kilometer, accounting everything. I think it's gonna be a very powerful product," Musk added. Musk estimated that the cost of riding a Tesla robotaxi vehicle would be lower than a subsidized bus ticket. Tesla aims to reach volume production of its dedicated robotaxi vehicle by 2024. The company plans to hold an unveiling event for the new robotaxi vehicle sometime next year. Musk believes that the robotaxi fleet will significantly drive Tesla's growth in the future. He isn't the only one either. For some time now, ARK Invest analysts, including CEO Kathy Wood, have said that Tesla's robotaxi fleet would increase the company's value. Just recently, ARK forecasted that Tesla's robotaxi fleet could generate $486 billion in annual revenue by 2026. The investment management firm predicts that Tesla's robotaxi business could contribute 60% of its expected value. ARK expects TSLA stock to be valued at $4,600 by 2026 if Tesla manages to launch its robotaxi fleet. The robotaxi fleet's launch will depend on Tesla's FSD software development. Since the robotaxi vehicle will not have a steering wheel or pedals, FSD will need to be fully refined and ready to take on most roads by the time Tesla launches the product. Moving to the next update, Tesla says nearly half of the vehicles it produced in Q1 equipped LFP batteries. Tesla revealed in its Q1 2022 shareholder deck that nearly half of the cars it produced in the first quarter equipped LFP battery cells that are free of nickel or cobalt. 
Diversification of battery chemistries is critical for long-term capacity growth to better optimize our products for their various use cases and expand our supplier base, Tesla said in the Q1 2022 shareholder deck release, just after market close on Wednesday. This is why nearly half of Tesla vehicles produced in Q1 were equipped with a lithium iron phosphate battery containing no nickel or cobalt. Currently, LFP batteries are used in most of our standard range vehicle products, as well as commercial energy storage applications. As a result of our energy-efficient motors, a Model 3 with an LFP battery pack can still achieve a 267 mile EPA range, Tesla added. Tesla made it evident during the initial indications there would be battery material shortages, that it would have to combat the issue by developing different cell chemistries. In August 2021, Tesla started offering LFP battery packs to customers in North America who had ordered standard range Model 3 trim configurations. Tesla had been using LFP battery cells in Asia and Europe for some time, while North American builds of the Model 3, standard range plus, utilized nickel-cobalt aluminum battery chemistries. In total, the electric automaker delivered 310,048 vehicles in Q1. To combat demand, Tesla offered North American customers these LFP packs. While they offer 253 miles of range, owners were able to take delivery of their vehicles sooner. CEO Elon Musk later went on to explain that Tesla's intent with the LFP pack is the product experience between nickel and iron is roughly equivalent. I'd personally slightly opt for iron pack as it wants to be charged to 100%, whereas nickel prefers 90%, Musk went on to say. There is a 10-mile range difference between the two battery packs, but the fact that the LFP cells are best charged to 100% means that owners could frequently get their vehicle's maximum range. Moving to the last update, Tesla plans to produce Model Ys with both 4680 and 2170 cells at Gigafactory Texas this year. Tesla said in its Q1 2022 shareholder deck, that it anticipates Model Y vehicles built at its new Gigafactory Texas production plant to equip both 4680 battery cells with a structural pack and 2170 cells without structural packs. Later this year, we expect Gigafactory Texas will be able to produce Model Ys using both structural packs with 4680 cells as well as non-structural packs with 2170 cells, Tesla said in its shareholder deck. Tesla confirmed at its Cyber Rodeo event at Gigafactory Texas that the initial builds of the Model Y crossover from the plant, which is located just outside Austin, would equip 4680 battery cells. The 4680 battery cell is Tesla's in-house battery chemistry, which was unveiled at Battery Day in late 2020. The 4680 cell chemistry offered more power, range, energy, and a longer lifespan compared to the older 2170 battery cells that it uses in the Model 3 and some Model Y vehicles. The 4680 battery cells were also unveiled with Tesla's structural battery pack, which increased manufacturing efficiency and vehicle safety by increasing rigidity. The 4680 cells are coupled with the structural pack to create Tesla's most advanced vehicle design yet with fewer parts to increase manufacturing rates at its factories as demand increases. While the 4680 cell is more advanced and is Tesla's newest bit of battery technology, it is still working to ramp production of the cell. It announced in January it had manufactured its 1 millionth 4680 cell at its Cato Road battery facility near the Fremont factory in Northern California, but this was only enough for roughly 1,400 vehicles, according to some estimations. Tesla did include the 4680 cells in initially delivered Model Ys from Austin, just as it outlined in the Q4 2021 earnings shareholder deck. However, 2170 cells, which Tesla receives from suppliers like Panasonic, are in plentiful supply and still offer plenty of range and power. A strategy to adopt a wide range and availability of cell chemistries and designs, which offer different ranges and power outputs, is crucial for Tesla, as it is still battling supply chain bottlenecks and parts shortages. Challenges around supply chain have remained persistent, and our team has been navigating through them for over a year. 
In addition to chip shortages, recent COVID-19 outbreaks have been weighing on our supply chain and factory operations. Furthermore, prices of some raw materials have increased multiple-fold in recent months. The inflationary impact on our cost structure has contributed to adjustments in our product pricing, despite a continued focus on reducing our manufacturing costs where possible, Tesla said. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.